Hello, hello everyone. Welcome. Today, we're discussing To Your Eternity, also known as To You, The Immortal, or Fumetsu no Anata E. And uh, the show just completed. It is apparently 20 episodes long. And there's a second season already confirmed for it. Uh, the final scene of the show, they say, uh, coming fall of 2022. 2022? Yeah, I think it was 2022. That's what it was. So we got about a year till it comes out. Now, this is the review episode. And uh, for those of you who have been watching my previously and whatnot, this is a first since I'm doing single individual shows instead of all of them for the season all together. So since this one ended first, this is the first one I will be discussing, I suppose. So here's how this is going to go. Just to kind of give you all a breakdown and a thing of what to expect here. So I'm just going to talk about the show to kind of recap a little bit about what it's about. Then I'm going to talk about my thoughts on it. And then after that, if I have any spoilers and stuff at the end, I'll say spoilers. But I'll, I'll very clearly indicate that I'm going to give spoilers and stuff like that for like story plot lines stuff like that. Anyway, so let's start, shall we, with Ash, to your eternity. So it begins with this god creating a like a thing that becomes a rock and then in the first episode, as stuff goes through, he ends up becoming a dog. Basically, it's an immortal being that can take the form of things that um, have either died near it or that have are inorganic and can, like, um, leave an impact on him uh, and whatnot like that. So, essentially, the story is about him going through his life and trying to figure out what he is and also becoming more human as he experiences uh, humanity and everything about them. Um, and stuff like that. Uh, also, later on, it comes in that there is this uh, enemy that he must fight called the Knockers, and they uh, are a huge driving point of the later part of the story. They, they show up, like, almost halfway through, I want to say, is when they actually first rear their ugly heads. Uh, but until then, it's mostly just him kind of going around, wandering from place to place, figuring out what's going on, and learning about himself. And he starts out not being able to talk or know what he's doing or anything like that. Slowly, as people come and uh, like interact with him, he, he gains more intelligence. He becomes more human, as essentially the story goes. Uh, that's basically the, the long and short of it. It's really just essentially about his, his journey going through the world of humanity. That, that's essentially all that it is. Um, there's there's combat, there's action, there's all that kind of stuff going on. I mean, it is uh, the genre of a supernatural adventure, drama, and, and shonen. So there's kind of stuff like that going on. Um, but all in all, this probably was, uh, excluding the ones that I dropped, this was probably my least favorite of this this season. And although it has been technically two seasons since it's 20 um, episodes long, I did not quite care for it. But it wasn't quite like the other ones that I dropped where it was like, I was always like, oh, I gotta watch this show now. No, I was like, I, I was interested in the story. I wanted to see how it progressed. And uh, all in all, it wasn't a bad show. It, it was definitely okay. But I personally don't think I'll watch the second season. Uh, I feel like I got all I wanted and all I needed out of the first season. And even though there's another one coming and there's some plot points that aren't quite tied up neatly in a little bow after the first season, I'm just not that motivated to actually continue on with the story. Um, yeah, and a lot has to do with how the story kind of went and how things go down. And the fact that the main character who comes to be known as Fushi, he is like a huge pacifist who does not like hurting things, which is a huge pain in the ass as uh, the story goes through. And uh, it's like one of those those noble hero kind of things where it's like, I don't want to kill anyone, but I need to do this because this thing is evil or yada yada. And uh, it's just a huge pain in the ass. Anyway. Yeah. That's, wow. That, that's all I really got to say about this one. Uh, it, it was fun. While it went through, it was very interesting. The first episode, I was like, "Huh, what is happening here?" 
you know, as it went through. And then as it got later and later, uh, it really starts to ramp up around, and I want to say there, there's like different arcs. I want to say each arc is like a different like person or a group of people meeting Fushi. And it really starts to pick up around the time that uh, the... Uh, maybe the third or fourth arc starts up. It's when he stops being like a wanderer and like stays in one place for a little bit. And after that, uh, the story really starts to pick up for me, in my opinion. And that's, uh, I think that's the time that the knockers come around as well. However, if you're looking for something like completely action packed, that's going to like blow your mind and all that. This ain't it. This ain't it. It is a very calm show for the most part. Very chill, um, unless there's an active thing going on with the knockers. Uh, there might be a little bit of drama and stuff happening. But all in all, it, it's not anything too crazy and tense, right? It's not like there's armies going at it and fighting each other and stuff like that happening. It's uh, just kind of like one immortal's struggle against his, uh, like, fate, essentially. Him trying to figure out what his role in the world is and everything like that, right? Uh, but yeah, as for the spoiler section, which we'll get to now, since I kind of said all I needed to say, I believe, about this uh, particular show, uh, since it was not really one that I want to, like, gush about and say everything was cool, it was great, you know, it is the bottom rung uh, for spoilers, so... He goes through a various sets of things, right? Uh, he meets people, and as those people either die or, um, well, die, they die, essentially. Everyone dies that he meets. Pretty much everyone fucking dies. Uh, once they die, he can become them. So he transforms into this being known as Fushi, who is this white-haired boy that you see. And he stays mainly as Fushi. Uh, for the most part, but he can transform into other people, and as the other ones die who he meets, he becomes them, and he can also turn into, like, animals and stuff like that, uh, and he can also just create things out of, like, nothing, essentially, which is very cool. I like that concept. However, it does not get used to, like, its fullest, and only really when they're in combat and needing something. Like, the most he ever creates to be helpful is food and, like, explosive arrows, and that's all. He really could have, like, done a lot more. And the things with him being like a, a pacifist kind of thing where he doesn't want to fight really bites him in the ass because uh, on three occasions, he lets someone live, uh, at least three, that if he would have just killed them right away, they would not have been causing trouble in the next part and less people would have died. <laughs> so that's how that goes. Uh, it's essentially this one woman that he keeps letting go who... Uh, when she first meets him, apparently gets obsessed with him to the point where she starts following him around and causing trouble. And so she goes and kills this one villager girl who we meet in the uh, the March, Marsh arc. And uh, he can then become her. And he gets pissed and is like, wow, uh, fuck you. And so he starts beating her up. But he doesn't kill her. He lets her go. And then she uh, stuns him with a fucking dart puts him to sleep, knocks him out, and uh, then he gets captured, stuff happens, and then once again, he lets her go when he could have killed her, and so then he like takes her on a boat, pushes her off, and says bye on herself, right? She's just floating by herself now, and then she gets rescued, and then she's probably going to be a villain in the next uh, season as well. So it's like, he could have so much stuff. So much stuff could have been avoided by this um, happening, essentially. Yeah. But, uh, fun times. The, uh, the the Gugu arc, though, where uh, Gugu with the boy with the mask, that arc, definitely my favorite, where it's less of like a uh, him wandering around doing stuff and more of a him like learning how to be human with the other like people. And I like the Gugu like, story arc and the backstory that everyone had. Because before, until Gugu's arc, everything was just like, okay, here are these people. Here's what's going on. This is it. You know, we didn't really get much backstory on Marsh or I think it was Perona who dies that he can become. Um, they both just kind of die 
in their stories and then that's all. There's no like, oh, this is what happened before and this is why they're like this. No, this is like fucking straight up. Goo Goo gets a backstory about why his face is all fucked up and deformed and the, the rich noble girl gets kind of a backstory that they meet and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's a very sweet, interesting story. Kind of like a romance story, actually, in that end with, uh, with Goo Goo trying to get with the, uh, the rich witch girl whose name I actually don't know. Much. This is the one like show that I'm going to be able to remember the names of the guys because they stand out like Fushi and Goo Goo, whereas the, uh, the girls, uh, I don't really remember anyone except for uh, Marsh because she has just such an easy name. and I know someone named Marsh in real life. And uh, I guess Perona or Pioran or whatever, because Pioran, I literally know because I just watched an episode, the final episode, like five minutes ago. Well, 10 minutes now. But anyway, all in all, it was an okay show. I mean, I definitely won't rewatch it ever. But uh, if anything that I said sounded good to you, check it out, I guess. I don't know. This review was not that great, to be honest. I guess none of my reviews are really ever that great, right? But hopefully the next ones will be better because I'll actually be able to talk about something I've enjoyed. Because this one was more like a lukewarm bath. It was okay, but it was not that great. You know what I mean? It was like uh, I was watching it to finish watching it. And not watching it because I was, like, really, really into it, you know. But the rest of the shows this season, oh, boy. Let me tell you, they are amazing, y'all. Like, every single one of the shows that uh, is coming out the rest of the season, except for maybe, like, one or two, uh, every time they come up, I'm like, oh, yeah, let's go. And uh, I really get excited for them because it's like, oh, yeah, this one, let's fucking rock. So look forward to those because they will be fun discussions that I will enjoy having. Okay. I don't know when the next one's going to end. Um, the current ones that I'm looking at right now that I need to finish watching for today um, are on episode eight and nine. Uh, so I think it's going to be another couple of weeks at least. So we'll see how that goes. But then again, uh, oops. Ugh. Then again, I uh, I haven't posted my dropped thing either currently. Although it'll be posted before this, so you'll see that. I don't know why I'm muttering this, breaking the illusion. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, <clears throat> I'm rambling. I'm gonna end things before this video gets to be too god awful long. This is the uh, this is the plan. I want to talk about a show, end it in under like 15 minutes. So far, it's only been like 12. Probably gonna be like 13 by the time I'm done. So anyway. Thank you all for watching. Uh, give the show a try if you think it's up your alley. Um, I don't necessarily recommend it. Yeah. So until next time, everyone. Bye for now.